Hello guys, my name is Rupert.at and I am from Austria. In the last episode, we, I told you how you get source mod and meta mod for your own server and how you get for yourself admin or for your teammates. In this episode, I'm gonna show you where you can find some plugins and where you can download it and how you can get war mod because in this video i'm gonna show you how you install war mod bfg and first of all you need to go on sourcemod.net click on plugins in plugins you can find different things for your server you can find fun stuff like plugins for 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 fun things uh, I would recommend to go on CSGO, you can see there exists a lot of different server types and now we can we could download like roll the dice, uh, roll the dice is for, for jailbreaking server or something like this and we don't need anything about this all, we can go here and go on to gameplay, cult search pack and download the first pack which we find uh, they are existing some but I personally would recommend you Walmart because Walmart is in my eyes one of the best things to get with not much issues with no much problems your players can join the server put in ready and they could go onto the pack uh, I search it in the Google because there existed also Elliot Mothers and here we are Warmod BFG edition it's from Versatil Versatil I have no idea how to, to pronounce the name red but it's from him I really recommend it because it's really easy to set up you can also download different things that will make it a little bit easier for the uploading the demos or the results but we don't need it we just only need the server for practice we here we can see the future list what the plugin can do uh, we got a ready system so all the players are ready or not whenever when 10 people are ready then the server will start automatically uh, live on three that's uh three starts three times and then the server is ready also go tv recording score display and 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 we are scrolling down to download the war mod smx we just need the war mod smx because the server will download all the files that the server needs at itself when we got the war mod SMX, smx now we go on to that host uh go on to f2p Join the FTP. Now we are joined. Now we go on to add-ons. How I said you need source mod to run the plugins. Then click on source mod folder. In the source mod folder you can find the folder plugins. And then you can just drag and drop it down. Yes. And it's installing. Then you need to restart your server. In my, in my opinion I need to start the server because it's offline at the moment. And now it's installing itself the plugin we're going back to the main folder and go into the cfg in the cfg we got a folder named warmod we click on that and we click we make right click and look and change the on maplot config we open it and now you can put some different things in it we uh, where it should save the demos the stats after should, uh, should be uh, pop up and then end we put on the vm competition also the vm chat prefix how to ebot because it's a little bit more customized for for your own server for your own clan for the team etc etc uh, you can put in here alfredo spot or i don't know <laughs> and don't uh, close it and it's uploading itself you can also change on uh, on on map load cfg the match config we go into rusa default and now we can change here also a little bit we can put uh, our name 
So it will say scream from how to eSport default match config loaded. We can also make VM match config. Uh, we can put here the ESL 5.5 configs in it when we got it on the server. That should be normally no problem. Then close it, save it, let it go. You can also, you don't need to reset the default CFG. You can uh, change it here. Just make the match config put on 5 on 5 ESL and you are ready to go. So that's it. That's how you can customize your war mod a little bit for yourself. And we are joining now the server to see if it's working or not. First of all, we need to restart it, uh, save and reboot and start again. So we are connected to the server and in the previous video, if you watch it, it, there was nothing like this. What we can see now, we can see one mod BFG ready system and it says if I'm ready or not. We need to get 10 players to ready to start the plugin at itself we can also force it uh, for the players it's only important ready or unready and now you can see in the chat how to ebot say so you're marked as ready or not how i said it's a little bit more customized at yourself at your organization team etc and we put in admin in in the admin menu we got the section warm mod comments we click on there and now you can see why if, if the enemies are cringe and they play sheet or something like this you can cancel the whole match you can cancel the half if there is some trouble with the server you can deactivate walmart this is important if you download a practice mod from splavis for example you can force all to ready if one is the whole time afk or is too stupid to put in ready then you can force it you can force all to spectate force or unready force for start it's it's just the same way to, to force the the match and also to go into the, the knife round if you say yeah the team who win the knife round can change the map or something like this so that's it that was the short information video how you can put Walmart on your server, how you can change it a little bit more customers at yourself. For an example, we're gonna force start it and now it says H2E, uh, scream from uh, how to eSport, default match config loaded and then you can see how to eSport what say live on 3, 2, 1 and then the match is live and it's powered you can change all the things under the cfg files just search for them and change it so how is it that's it that's the whole video i say thank you for watching and i hope you liked it that was my quick view how you can install one more because there existed not many videos of this plugin and that's it i wish you good day good night i have no idea when you're looking at this video but Servus, grüß euch.